learn just about everything there is to know about sending and receiving email using a Microsoft Access database. Hi, my name is Richard Rost from AccessLearningZone.com and I am proud to announce the release of my new Access Email Seminar. This seminar will teach you just about everything there is to know about sending and receiving email using Microsoft Access with and without using Microsoft Outlook. We will start out by learning how to send email from Access using Outlook by sending reports from the database directly to a single email. We'll learn about the send object and email database object macro and VBA commands. We'll talk about the Outlook security warning and what it means. You will learn how to create a nice formatted email using Microsoft Word. We'll use our access data in a Word mail merge to send multiple emails using Outlook. You will learn about inserting pictures, hyperlinks, and much more. Next, we'll build our own email form and send text email direct to Outlook without having to use a database report. You'll learn about the Outlook application library and how to add a reference to it in your VBA editor. You'll learn how to send formatted, rich text and HTML messages direct to Outlook. We'll see how to upload images to a public folder on the web so that your recipients don't have to download them in their email. We'll create a separate form for sending HTML formatted emails the concept is to create an HTML email in a web editor or even Microsoft Word. Then we'll copy and paste the HTML code directly to our email database and click send. The end user gets a nice pretty formatted email. Next, you'll learn how to send attachments as part of your emails via Outlook. We'll create zip files, check to see if a file exists, use the common dialog DLL to click on a select file button and then browse for files to attach. We'll see how to automatically export an access report as a PDF file using VB code. We'll save these PDF files to a folder on your hard drive and then use them as attachments in outgoing emails. This is great for sending regular customer statements or invoices or any document you want to save for the future. Next, We'll learn how to start sending bulk email using Outlook. We'll create a customer list form, select specific customers to mail to, generate a loop to cycle through each of the customers, and then send an email to each selected customer. I'll show you how to disable the annoying Outlook security warning so you're not prompted each time you try to send an email. We'll send balance statements to all the customers with a balance on their account over $0. Next, we'll begin a series of lessons on sending email without using Outlook. We'll learn how to connect directly to an SMTP mail server. You'll learn about the Collaborative Data Object Programming Library. We'll build a more robust form for sending email. You'll be able to select the format, either plain text, rich text, or HTML. We'll specify CC and BCC recipients, and lots more. Next. We'll learn how to connect to Gmail to send mail using SSL, that's Secure Sockets Layer. We'll also learn how to send friendly names in our emails so they see Access Learning Zone, for example, instead of your email address. You'll learn how to send email attachments using this method. You'll also learn how to handle errors during the transmission of the email to the server. You will learn how to create an email based on a web page or an HTML document. If you know a little bit about web editing, you'll be able to set up a web page, format it as an email, a newsletter for example, and then with just a few lines of code, send that out as an email automatically. Next, we'll learn how to use record sets to loop through the records of our database in VBA code. This will allow us to more easily send large batches of bulk email. We'll create our own mail merge codes in our emails so you can customize them and phrases like dear first name are replaced with dear Joe when the email goes out. We'll monitor email statistics so when you're sending a large batch you can see how many emails there are total, how many are left to go out, and what the percentage of completion is. If you're sending a large volume of emails you may want to space them out so you don't bog down your mail server. Some internet providers will also complain if you send a ton of emails at once. 
I'll show you how to program a countdown timer with a delay so you can space your emails out. This will also prevent a flood of traffic on your web server if you send out an advertisement and everyone responds at once. You probably have certain emails that you send on a regular basis, such as a monthly newsletter or a weekly balance report. Instead of having to reinvent the wheel every time, we'll make a table and a form to save email templates. This way you just pick the template, select the customers, customize it a bit if you want, and just click send. You'll probably also want to put customers into different mailing lists, such as your company newsletter, monthly specials, or in my case, I have a special group for my Excel students, another for my Access students, and so on. We'll set up a category system where each customer can be in one or more categories. Now all you have to do is pick the template, pick the category, and all of those customers get their emails automatically. Sending a large batch of email can take a long time. If you have 20,000 emails to send out, that can busy up your system for a few hours. It would be nice to queue up those emails and have another database send them out, right? This can even be a database sitting on another computer somewhere on your network, one that everyone on the network can use. I'll show you how to set this up. We will set up a database server to collect the emails from other users and send them to your email account. This way, you're not tying up any one user's computer by sending out emails. Next, we'll learn how to read incoming emails and extract the data from them. We'll see how to loop through the emails in our Outlook inbox, collect the data from them, store that data in our access tables, and put the data in the right fields. We'll see how to send out a user survey via email and process the data when the users return the email with the information filled in. If you have your own website with Microsoft Windows hosting, I will show you how to set up a web form on your site using HTML and active server pages to collect user data. When they submit the data, it will come to you via an email, and you can use the techniques from the previous lessons to read in and parse that data. Many people use the attachment field type in Access Databases to store files related to customers. I will show you how to extract those files to your hard drive using VBA code automatically so you can use those as email attachments. We will also talk about tracking email deliverability with delivery status notifications and read receipts. We'll talk about sending email as text messages using an SMS gateway. And we'll see how to extract attachments from incoming emails and save those to a file folder. So as you can see, if you want to be able to send and receive emails using Microsoft Access, this is the perfect seminar for you. You will learn everything mentioned in this video. You'll have full access to the database that we build in class with all of the source code. And you'll be able to download a full working copy of the email server database. You can find more information about this seminar on my website, accesslearningzone.com. And of course, if you have any questions about whether or not this seminar is right for you, please feel free to contact me directly. For Access Learning Zone, I'm Richard Rost. Thanks for watching.